Welcome to this video of Microsoft Excel. We'll be learning about the user interface of Microsoft Excel. The Excel which you see at the back end is the latest version of MS Office, which is Office 365. Now, if you see at the back end, the Excel file is open. It's completely blank right now. And you see at the bottom, there's a sheet one. But first thing, how do we open Microsoft Excel? We have to press the Windows key from a keyboard or you can just click on this location over here. You can type Excel on this location or you can see the recently up opened application is Excel. So let me type here the Excel option. And here if you see, I've got the Excel option here. Now this way you can open a new, fresh new Excel file. When you open this Excel file, carefully observe, there are three sheets by default. Depending upon the settings at the backend, the number of sheets might change. So right now I have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. These are three sheets available. If you observe Excel, it's a collection of multiple boxes, multiple cells right now. And you can see this cell, these are different cells which are known here. Now, to introduce about the user interface, we have many columns and many rows. Now, what exactly is a column? If you see the vertical lines over here, this is the vertical data. Now, this is known as a column. So, column heading starts with A, B, C, D and so on. Let me increase the size. You can increase the size of this particular Excel. You can see from here at the bottom, I can click on this plus sign to zoom in. You can see I can zoom out and I can show you the data here. Now, when I pick up this thing, if you see that's a column number A, column number B, and there are plenty of different columns in this Excel. In the older version of Excel, the number of columns were less. Now, in the new version of Excel, the columns of number of columns are more here. So these are the columns. Remember, vertical are the columns and horizontal will be the rows. Excel moves vertically downwards and Excel moves horizontally forward. What I mean by horizontally, I can go in the right hand side direction and vertically, I can go at the bottom direction. Okay. To see how many number of rows are there. So I can keep the cursor over here and press control down arrow key. When I press control down arrow key, the number of rows comes here 1048576. These are total number of rows in my data set. Now I can press control up arrow key to bring back the cursor in the first cell over here. So what we have understood is the cell is the columns and is the number of rows over here. Now, if you see on the top, we have the file home insert page layout and so on. If I try to highlight this option, this is known as the tabs. These are known as the tabs T A B S. Now, what are the tabs? If you see tabs were previously known as the menu bars. Okay. Home menu bar, insert menu bar. But in the newer version of Excel, these are known as tabs. Every tab will consist of many options. So below the tabs option over here, if you see this area, this is known as the ribbon. If I can just write down here, ribbon. Now ribbon consists of different elements. For example, I'm in the home tab. We have the font group. We have the alignment group and the number group. So these are groups. Every group will contain different options over here. For example, in the home tab, we have a font group and these are the different elements for bold, italic, underline and so on. So these are different options in the group over here. Moving further, if you carefully observe, we have something given here, which is the formula bar. In Excel, there are approximately 400 plus functions or formulas, I can say. 400 functions, if you want to write, you have to write this option over here. This is known as formula bar. So when I write something in the cell, I can see the formulas on this location. The next part would be, if you see this op option over here, this is known as the name box. Name box will tell you where exactly your cursor is or where your selection is. For example, if I keep my cursor on this location, I can tell you that my cursor is in the cell number D4. What is D4? D consists of the column number and four consists of the row number. So the location is intersection of column and row, which is D4. If I keep my cursor in this cell, which is let's say this column N and here it says as N4. So column is N and the row number is 4. So no matter whichever cell you go in that Excel, you will be able to see the location directly from here. Now it will not tell you which sheet you are there right now. Carefully observe, I am in the sheet 1 and cell number N4. If I go to sheet 2 and if I keep my cursor over here, it tells me I am in the cell number G3. So in that particular current sheet, you'll be able to see the cell number. So this is, this gives us the address of that particular cell. Coming back to the sheet one, 
Now, this was the tabs. These are the ribbons. Let me highlight that option. If you see on the top, this area is known as the toolbar. Okay. This is known as QAT. This is the only single toolbar in the entire Excel. The name of this toolbar is Quick Access Toolbar. This toolbar contains of some few options which are very easy to find out. So if you see on the top, we have save, undo, redo and so on. There are some plenty of options. So remember, in the previous version of Excel, long back, there were many, many toolbars. But now it is only one toolbar, Quick Access Toolbar. I can customize the toolbar, I can add the options in toolbar or I can remove the options from there. That is fine. On the top, if you see, since I have opened a blank new Excel file, by default, the name of the file will be book one. If I open one more file, it will become book two, book three, book four and so on. If I press control N from my keyboard, when I press control N and for New York, it will open a new Excel file and the name will be given as book two. Again, if I press control N, it will become as book three. So the more I press control N, new books would be open. What is a book right now? The entire thing which you see, the collection of multiple sheets, the collection of multiple columns and rows becomes one book, one workbook over here. So if I want to close this workbook, I can press cross sign on the top. Now before closing, it will ask me, do you want to save your work or not? So I have an option of saving. I have an option of don't save. So I can click on don't save because nothing I've done over here. Again, I can click on close button and I can say don't save. So this way I come back to book one on the top. The other option in the Excel user interface is very important, which is search box. If I want to have some option, if I want to search for any option, if I do not know about it, I can just click over here. For example, let's say I want to learn how to create table. So I can type here table. So when I click on this table option, there are plenty of options available. One is action, insert table, data table, and then from table. It will tell me there are plenty of files with the name given as table. So these are some files which I have. If you think I need some help, I can go to Google. I can go to Microsoft web page and search for table related options I can get here. So this search box is very important for a fresher, for a beginner. So if you're in school or in college, or if you're a person trying to explore new features, which you do not know, you can search over here. I can press escape to bring it back. On the right hand side of this Excel, there are three buttons, minimize, maximize and close button. So when I press minimize, the whole Excel will minimize and I'll be able to see the other windows. When I click on maximize, the screen will bring in the full screen. For example, let me click on this button here. Carefully observe, this Excel has shrink. Now the size has come down. If I want to make it full screen, I can click on this maximize button here. So this maximize button will be in a full screen mode. Now the problem here is if Again, if I click on this button, it will shrink. Now the options will be shown in a compressed format. For example, if I go to some menu bar, carefully observe cells, editing. In this cells option, there are plenty of options over here. Let me move it down. Carefully observe this cells and this cells. So this three things have been compressed over here. Editing has been compressed over here. So remember, you need to keep the Excel in a full screen mode. So I can click on this maximize button. And uh, close button will close the Excel file. If you want to save, you can save it. Otherwise, not to save it. The other option at the bottom, if you see, I can minimize, maximize the screen, uh, you know, zoom size here. I can click on plus sign. It will become larger. I can see the font properly. So suppose I am right now training on Excel. If I write here, let's say, uh, Pavan Lalwani. Okay. Now it is visible for you on the screen. So if you're a teacher, professor, and if you want to show it to other people, a person sitting at the back end, you need to increase the size of that. If I try to minimize the size, you see, normally people keep it 100. Okay. Some people also keep it more, let's say 40, 50. Why do they do this? They can see many, many columns at one single place. But obviously, since I'm coaching, since I'm training right now, I have to keep it little larger. So I can just click on this plus sign to increase the size over here. The other option is if you want to scroll on the right hand side, you can see the horizontally I can go on the right hand side. So at the bottom of the screen, I have a horizontal scroll bar. This is known as horizontal scroll bar. So I can go on the right and left using mouse or using uh, the arrows. I can move here on the right hand side. I have a vertical scroll bar. I can scroll down and scroll up depending upon my requirement here. 
The other option would be at the bottom, it can tell me the address. Right now, I'm in sheet one of sheet three. So it will give me the location over here. Also, if you see the multiple sheets are given sheet one, sheet two, sheet three and so on. If I click on this plus sign, I can create multiple sheets. How many sheets? On an average, 255 sheets I can create. So if I can click on plus sign, plus sign, plus sign, multiple sheets can be created. Or else the shortcut for creating sheets is Shift F11. I can press Shift F11 from my keyboard and the sheets would be created at the bottom. So this is one way. And if I want to delete the sheets, I can right click and click on this delete option. So creating sheets and deleting sheets is very simple. So I can right click, delete, right click, delete. What is right click? Uh, for people who are very new for schools and colleges, I can just right click using my mouse and then I can just click on this delete option from my mouse over here. And the last one is something important. These are the different layouts. So if I'm a person who's taking a printout of this particular Excel, so there are different layouts on this option here, which is page layout, print layout and so on. So this different options I can pick up right now, but we'll see later in detail how to work on it. So now this is the simple user interface of Excel. And from last many years, the interface has not changed after 2003 version of Excel. Now all the Excel version currently, this is the user interface of Office 365. Okay, first is 2010, 2013, 2016 and so on. Now this is the Office 365 version of Excel, the latest version. Whenever new update comes over here, the user interface and everything keeps on changing over here. So I hope you have understood the user interface of Microsoft Excel and that's all for this video.